My name is Gabriel Garcia Roman, and I was born in Zacatecas, Mexico. Grew up in the States, came here when I was two, and I've been in New York for the past 22 years. One of my favorite terms that I like to use to identify myself is namaricon, which is a play on words on Mexican-American, but reclaiming the word maricon, which used to be hurled at me as a kid. I was never aware that Warhol worked in the themes of religion or that he was even Catholic. I thought his take was interesting as far as the idea of consumerism with religion and guns. As I walked away, I, I did think about the fanaticism, which was a nice way to tie everything together. I started using religious iconography in my work because I've always found religious art very powerful. There's still a humanity and emotion and suffering, like all of these things that are out in the world, and I wanted to include that, those aspects in my work, specifically for queer icons. I've always been influenced and I've always loved the idea of the halo. So when I started working on queer icons or a lot of my artwork, I include the halo because for me, the halo is the badge of honor. It's like you don't get a halo until you've done something for the community or for it or mankind. My senior year, my final year in school, there started to be a lot of visual representation of queer folks in media and television. All of this was changing. I still wasn't seeing myself, my friends, and my community represented. I wanted to reclaim and insert our narrative into the art canon. What I started doing is photographing my community and portraying them as saints, as these noble figures. Queer folks of color are always either victims or downtrodden or always in need of help. I wanted to create a body of work that would be aspiring or that it would showcase fighters and people that are defiantly existing. Their existence is resistance to oppression. The Queer Archons was featured in the Pride Parade in 2019. We came up with the idea of doing a uh, procession similar to like a Catholic procession where banners are walked through through the parade route. It was just the outpouring of support and I still think about that day. I always thought honing in on community organizers and activists who are, are the modern day saints, everyday people who are putting their body on the line, give them their flowers while they're, they're still alive.